Welcome back. We are going to do another video on another deck creation that I've come up with of cards that I own. Hopefully, I can get a chance to test these out one of these days. But for now, it's show off what I've created and see what we can come up with. Um, in this one, I believe the deck itself is pretty explanatory it's a lot of life gain but i think there's some work that needs to be done to it uh, maybe a sideboard added to uh, change it up a bit but of course you've got these enchantments here cost two to bring out at the beginning of your upkeep you gain one life no problem hopefully somebody doesn't have tranquility or you're screwed with this deck um then you've got the uh, sun crowned um it's indestructible as long as you your devotion is less than five. He's not a creature, but he is a five-five creature. Could be out on the board. But whenever you gain life, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature uh, or enchantment you control. So basically, you've got this one here. You're gaining one life every turn. So anything that you play is being bumped up by this guy if he's out on the board, and he only costs three to bring out. So it's a pretty cheap way to build your creatures. This one here is a fly, flying creature. If you gain life, you gain one, uh, gain additional life. Um, instead, you get so if you gain one life, you gain two. You gain three life, you gain you know if you gain three, you gain four. Um, if you have over twenty five life, he's a she's a four four angel. Pretty cool. Um, this one here it says if you at the beginning. Of your end step, if you've gained four or more life, create a 4 4 angel creature with flying. Pretty decent uh, enchantment. Considering most of these cards in here allow me to gain life. These enchantment creature sheep is a 0 5, but it says at the beginning of your upkeep, you gain one life. So, yeah, you can see the uh, life gain side of things in this deck, as well as. Here, Soul Wardens, um, whenever a creature comes out into play, um, whether it be a creature from down, your opponent or a creature you've created, uh, you gain one life per creature that's played. Um, here, Glorious Anthem, it gives creatures you control plus one plus one. So why not? Um... We have another enchantment here. Whenever your creature enters the battlefield, you can on, under your control, but you gain one life. So it's a soul, it's a half beaten soul warden, but it can be um, very helpful in a game when you need life. You're just about dead, and you have to gain gain life by bringing creatures out. Um, the pride made here is whenever you gain life, it gets plus one plus one. Uh, it gets a plus one plus one counter on it. So those are good, decent creatures. Um, uh, bumpable creatures. Then you got your healer hawks that are got flying and lifelink. Cost one to bring out. Decent flying creatures. They have lifelink. So yeah, it's allowing you to bump up your pride maids. Um, then you've got disenchant. Just to get rid of that pesky artifact or enchantment that's in play that's uh, affecting your what you want to do. Like, say they got Underworld Dreams on you or something like that, you can get rid of them. Um, I've put these ones in here because if you do have a, a number of creatures out on the board, um, allow, giving your creatures plus X plus X until end of turn where X is the number of creatures you control is pretty decent as well. Um, other ways to get rid of their creatures, Swords of Plosher, XL target creature, um, its controller gains life equal to its power, but it's a one casting cost destruction card. This one is good. I found that because it's, its toughness is your devotion to white. Um, and when a creature you control enters the battlefield or dies, you gain one life. With them being legendary creatures, you only have one on a, the um, board on a turn. Even though I got four of them in here, it is what it is. 
And these ones here, these might be changed out. Um, a simple instant, white creatures you control go plus two, plus two, until end of turn. This isn't a very easy life gain deck. There's a lot of changes I could do to it, and I probably will in the near future. It's not as built as some of the other decks that I've got created right now. With all the newer um, stuff that's coming out, um, there are newer cards that could make these decks stronger. And until I get a chance to play them in real life, I will have no clue on what to do or what to change out on these decks. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.